Rocket Thai Yahweh, Rocket Thai Yahweh Shai, Rocket Thai Yahweh, Rocket Thai Yahweh Shai, Rocket Thai Yahweh, Rocket Thai Yahweh Shai, Call Halal La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodash. All right, double honors to my apostles, bishops, elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. What I said in Hebrew was bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai three times. All praises to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And double honors to my apostles and bishops. All right, here at Great Millstone. Uh, teaching his words to serve the truth. You know, and Shalom to you bros around the world also. Salutations to the brothers. All right, and also you few sisters that believe. Salutations, Shalom. Shalom. All right, I just got a few videos. Hey, Shalom, you know, to the beloved brother. <laughs> you know, sent me uh, some videos yesterday, some news. All right, and um, you know, I wanted to touch on a few of these videos as I take this drive to my destination. All right. Uh, first video I have here is from Dabu. Okay. This is from Dabu, and the title reads, so I get it. Okay, it says, another food processing facility goes up in flames, this time in New Jersey. So he says, another food processing facility, because it's been a lot. I can't remember offhand where, but I remember he posted a lot of these videos, you know, and another one, and another one, and another one. Now here's another one in Jersey. And uh, it's really, you know, it's not hard to see that Esau is striving to bring a famine, all right? He already hit your supply chain from when the food comes off of the uh, ships. Not even just food, but items, you know, resources, things you need. But Esau is striving to bring a shortage of food because he has an agenda, all right? His agenda is which, which is his NWO, okay, for basically him to have total control all right he wants to use he wants to do the d word which y'all should know the d word the d word i'm i'm really i'm saying i'm relating to is um the georgia godstones all right he wants to do that as well and he has something that he calls uh 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 you know he wants to break down and he wants to build back better all right and then build back better in the form of transhumanism you becoming a transhuman you know you taking that karakma, which is the mark, you know, in your hands so he can have total control. All right? He wants to live, he wants you to live with artificial intelligence. You know? He wants to have total control, surveillance. He wants to control even your thoughts. You know? He wants to control what how you think. He wants to penalize you for for how you feel and how you think, you know, about the mind control. Which you should know what the mind control is. That's your government that controls your mind. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to play the video, and then I want to just read a headline of the article that goes with the video, okay? Because um, right here in Jersey, what I've noticed, and this is going back a few years, that they took away a lot of the commercial supermarkets. Like, you had, had you, of course, you got ShopRite, you had Pathmark, they took Pathmark away. And then with the ShopRites, you know, I mean, you still have, I just drove past one, you, you still have... Um, the small non-commercial supermarkets i guess for the neighborhood you still have those you know where the prices are very cheap you go to shop right you get a little better quality of, 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 of fruits of meats then you come to these small ones you know it's you know it's cheaper but the quality ain't as good the fruit look all bad but they but what they did also with shot right that i noticed over here is that they took them from certain low place locations and placed one shot right for nook you know, Newark, New Jersey. So everyone that's in Newark that want to come to ShopRite will have to come here. All right, come to, you know, this one ShopRite, which makes it a big ass line and shit, man. Especially on the first to the third, you know, or the first to the seventh or whatever, you know, because of the first of the month shit. But, um, you know, Esau is really confining things, you know, as small because he wants to control, okay? And now you have this fire, which happened in Linden, and it's a it's a uh, actual um, processing facility for Shoprite, where the food get processed first, and then it gets shipped out. You know, 
to the stores. So without further ado, I'll play the video. So I can, um, you know, talking too much. This is Dabu 7 and keeping track here of these food processing plants and food distribution places that have gone up in flames. We have yet another one, this time out of Linden, New Jersey. Firefighters had to fight this three alarm blaze that hit this ShopRite food preparation facility. And this was not far from Route 1 and Route 9. Now they're saying that this broke loose in this area of the world-class kitchens located at 1911 Pennsylvania Avenue, according to Linden Police. They were able to evacuate the place and get everyone out safely. There was around 50 people in there. And this whole thing broke loose. This is a Woodbridge-based supermarket cooperative Woodbridge. that includes ShopRite, they say. And you can see here the firefighters battling the blaze. They had to call in help from other areas. But I just wanted to keep track of this event. After all the other ones we've already seen, we've got another place that's gone up in flames. So add this one to the list as well. Make sure to join me for the live streams Monday and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Covering stuff like this and a whole lot more. Hope to see you guys there. All right, let me go to this article. Okay, this is an article that goes with this uh, report. Uh, it says, Linden firefighters battle a three alarm blaze overnight into Tuesday afternoon at a ShopRite food preparation facility not far from uh, routes one and nine, which is a highway, one and nine. You know, we say one and nine, one and nine highway, you know. But uh, it says, Linden firefighters battle a three alarm blaze overnight into a Tuesday afternoon. Check that out, man. An overnight battle with a fire. So that place got to be going, you know, which is a shot right food preparation facility not far from one and nine. All right. So I'm not going to be able to read the article, but that's what's in the news, man. All right. A famine of food is coming. It will come. And matter of fact, one scripture that come to mind, I got to get it. Got to get a preset. Okay, this is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. It says, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision, make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. So Habakkuk as a prophet, all right, of Yahweh watching me out shy and just as well as us brothers who teach the word, the men that go out, that believe in Yahweh watching me out shy, that are teaching the spirit and power of Yahweh watching me out shy, teaching his word. Your prophets because we're prophesizing the word of the most high so the lord said uh scripture say i will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and i will watch to see what he will say unto me so we watch to see what the lord will say you know and the lord speaks through his prophecies he speaks through his judgments he speaks through you know his current events you know he lets you know what what, what time it is all right what time it is all right, it says, and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved, when you correct it. All right, it says, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. So you're supposed to make it plain, okay? Make it understandable, you know, make it edible so you can eat, so you can get edified. You know, it's simple, it's not, it's not deep. You know, the point is, like he mentioned in the video, he just wanted to cover this report because it's been happening, you know, uh, consecutively over America, over Babylon. You know, it's been going on. So you can see that he is trying to bring a, a famine shortage. You know, that's his purpose, bringing a shortage. All right, I wanted to bring out a quick preset. This is the book of Amos chapter three, verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? 
and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and Yahweh have not done it? Surely Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. All right, so the Lord said, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? That trumpet that's being blown today is the Lord's true prophets prophesizing week in and week out, in season, out of season, giving you 100% truth. That's the trumpet. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people be not afraid? Because you're supposed to be afraid. Apostle Paul said, we know the terror of the Lord, so we persuade men. And us brothers, hey, we, we know the terror of the Lord. We know how much the Heavenly Father can destroy you, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually. He going to torment you. He already warned us of the prophecies, man. All right, which is the great destruction of Armageddon is thermonuclear fire. So it says, shall there be evil in the city and Yahweh have not done it? So when the Lord bring a famine, because he's using Esau to bring a shortage. Well, this is the most highest work. All right. He's bringing a, a, a shortage of food so that you suffer. All right. Because what's going to happen is the, the, the fulfillment of prophecy, which is Jacob's trouble is coming. So it says, surely Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So who has the Lord's secrets? The prophets. All right. And the prophets are sent to give you warning. All right. To condemn, reprove, rebuke and exhort. All right. The heavenly father's true name and his son's name, which is the father is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shad, man. All right. Because this is going to starve the people to do what? It's going to starve you to beg your government. And that's what he want. All right. This is just like during the time of 2020 when he shut down the businesses. You know, a lot of people that had small businesses, you know, uh, you know, self-support, you know, self-sufficient for themselves, making their bread. You know, he basically made people go back to work a nine to five because they couldn't afford to live because their business was shut down. So he basically destroyed the middle class, man. He put a dent in that shit. All right. So like you, excuse me, let's park up. It says, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision. All right. We're writing the vision with these epistles and these videos. All right. So he that got ears to hear, let him hear. It says, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry because when this thing come, it's going to come, man. All right. And with that being said, give me one second. I'm going to pull this next video. All right. I wanted to bring this up because they've been talking about this as well. A coast to coast storm could bring significant snow to the northeast, to the northeast late this week. So they're talking about a big snowstorm, man. You know, and, and hey, at this time and point, you know, you know, hey, you, we can have a, a fucking, you know, the Lord can make this snowstorm be bigger than what he wanted to be, you know. So anyway, let's play this newscast about our next storm that's coming through. So this is going to be a part of our massive coast to coast storm as it moves into the central plains impacting the south with storms tomorrow and blizzard conditions off to the northern plains. Now as we go later into this week, this low pressure system, the heart of our storm moving up into the Great Lakes region is in fact going to weaken a bit. That cold front extends down the east coast and a very common setup is that we see a low pressure system reform off the coast of the mid-Atlantic and all of this energy from this storm system System that has been impacting the western portions of the country will transfer into this low pressure system that forms off the mid-Atlantic in which it will deepen and strengthen perhaps off the coast of the northeast and that is going to bring in the conditions for seeing a winter uh, storm set up but the question is and if you live in the northeast I've lived here my entire life it's always been where is that low pressure going to finally set up the the position of that low pressure is key on who sees the snow and who sees the rain now so if that low pressure system shifts a bit further off to the east into the Atlantic, then we're talking perhaps a bit more of a snow set up closer to that 95 corridor. If that low pressure system tracks a bit further inland and crosses perhaps up the 95 corridor, then we're talking mostly just a rain event. All of that heavy snow will stay up state. And that is one of the things that we are confident on is that an increasing risk 
Four significant snow will be likely across upstate New York into Vermont and New Hampshire. And then too, this is a form of pride, man. I'm just thinking, um, you know, a little bit of what this newscast is and how they could predict the news for the next coming days or the, the day, you know, because man's going is of the Lord. How then can he find his own way? And that's the scripture. All right. The most high controls and does all these things. So we give the credit to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, because nothing can be done unless the Most High. Nothing can be done in the earth unless the Most High ordained it and allow it. So for Esau to have this sort of power and technology, you know, and especially they got, uh, you know, they made this uh, technology into a, a weapon, a device, you know, because they can actually manipulate the weather to make it worse or to make it rain in places where it doesn't rain. You know, they got the technology to do that. So that gives pride to eat. You know, which is all according to the Lord's movie. Because, matter of fact, let's get this scripture here. Uh, the book of Romans. Romans 9. And, uh... Okay, this is the book of Romans 9 and chapter 13. Uh, excuse me, chapter 9, verse 13. It says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? God forbid, for he say unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. It says, so then, it, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High, Yahweh, that showeth mercy. For the scripture say unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So the Lord, hey, our Heavenly Father controls the right and the left. He controls the spiritual powers. He controls the wicked powers. All right. When when witchcraft and sorcerers, uh, warlocks, necromancers, they perform miracles by using left hand spirits. That's the power of the Most High. So the Most High gave Esau that power. That's why he has this technology in the palm of his hand. And he has, and, it's, and the purpose for it is because the Lord wants to show his power. Because on top of that, what the Lord is going to do is over Trump that power, his left hand with the right hand. All right? You know, boop, boop. <laughs> you know, and this was exactly happened with Moses. All right? When Moses went to Pharaoh, you know, to tell him to let the Lord's people go. When we was delivered out of uh, ancient Egypt, man. All right? Mizraim. But uh, it's happening again. So let's read the scripture again. It says, verse 16. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh that showeth mercy. See, it's of the most high, of Yahweh that showeth mercy. It says, for the scripture say unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth so you would say well what's the purpose of the lord doing that well you know what's the purpose of the father doing that you know raising up the, the wicked you know and doing that power is that well it's for his name's sake the, hey our heavenly father want to be praised he want to be worshiped he want to be acknowledged all right because he's the, the the great power that governs the universe not esau man the scriptures say why is earth and ashes proud you know it's not, it's not, pride is not made for man. Okay, you get sick, you die, all right? You um, you uh, make mistakes or, you know, hey, you fall, you know? So why would a man have pride? But the Lord is giving E pride, all right? Giving him that pride, that um, excellency, as the scripture say in Job, which goes into pride, which is the height and elevation, so that the Lord can show forth his power, all right, to give his name that glory. In the earth, you see, and it's the it's just this is just his will, it's just his will. All right, so it says, um, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will hearten if he hearten if. Let me read that again. Therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hearten if. Thou will say then unto me. Why doeth he yet? Why doeth he yet find fault? 
for who have resisted his will? It says, Nay, but O man, who art thou that repliest against the Most High, repel, excuse me, repellest against the Most High, shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if Yahweh willing to show his wrath and to make his power known? Endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. You know, Esau is that vessel of dishonor. And he's that vessel that's fitted for destruction. The Most High designed the wicked so that he can destroy them. So call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah and be thankful that you're an Israelite, man. You know, be joyous, man, in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai that you have this truth. You're one of the Lord's hopeful elect. Because it's about the elect as well, man. You know, it's not about just knowing you're an Israelite. All right? Because you got these groups. Man, yesterday I was watching, catching up on videos. Man, you got these groups, these, these so-called leaders of these different groups, Israelite groups. And they're getting on these platforms and saying some crazy shit, man. You know, now your leader is Louis Farrakhan. You know? And I really, you know, this is my humble opinion. I think these guys is is uh, meeting in the back door somewhere, man. You know, set up by E or something. Because it's it's amazing how one by one they just come up. They get on these platforms and they talk this crazy shit. You know, these dudes are worldly Israelites. But anyway, neither here nor there. Let's get back to the, the broadcast. Let's talk about that snow potential. We're, of course, looking at the models and seeing how things are shaking out. Things will come together as this storm continues to move east across the country. But we start here with the European model, and this is taking a track perhaps a bit more favoring the western side of that low pressure. So that low pressure system tracking closer to land, you can see it shifts our snow potential farther away from that 95 corridor, keeping the significant snow through upstate New York. But with the American model off to the right side of the screen here, you will see that that low pressure perhaps tracking a bit further to the east into the Atlantic, and that is going to bring that snow potential a bit further to the south, closer to the 95 corridor. But nonetheless, it is a sharp cutoff on who sees the snow. All right, enough of that real quick. Let me do this. Let's go to the next one. So you are breaking up with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now turning to the aftermath of our tornadoes, the very same storm system is now causing damage across the southeast. And it's turning deadly. It's a lot here, not that one. This one. All right, this one is uh, U.S. freezes a terrible... Blizzard with strong winds hit South I can't see it. South Dakota. All right. It says the U.S. is gearing up for a week of wild weather on Tuesday, December 13th. So this is recent. All right. It says heavy snow and gusty winds hit the plains of western South Dakota. Winds gusts exceed 50 miles per hour, especially on the open plains. Most of the states is affected by high winds and precipitation, although the pattern is not the same across the state. All right. So let me just play the video. The U.S. is gearing up for a week of wild weather. On Tuesday, December 13th, heavy snow and gusty winds hit the plains of western South Dakota. Wind gusts exceed 50 miles per hour, especially on the open plains. All right, so y'all seen snow before. You know, this ain't, you know, breaking news, all right? But a blizzard could be on its way, you know? And it could be a, ma a major one because the way that things are going, how things, uh, the Lord got things going in the earth, all right? Could be really bad, man. But, uh, you know, that's just a heads up. You know, that's just snow. All right, uh, I got a video here that I want to uh, actually go over. It's a very good video by this guy. 
All right. Uh, it says I, uh, I is watching podcast uh, number seventy six. You know the twenty thirty agenda CBDCs, who uh, tr uh, treaty mass poisoning. All right. So check this out. This dude was going in, bro. The current monetary system collapses as the digital control system is being rolled out. The 2030 agenda in full effect, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Steve Eyes. You're on the Eyes is Watching channel. The 2030 agenda, folks. An agenda all about the health of the planet and not about your health. When they said you will own nothing and you will be happy, they mean they will own everything and most of you will be dead, or at least that's what they hope for. Elon Musk posted a bizarre photo on his Twitter the other day, what looks to be a futuristic animation of the Noah's Ark story. In this apocalyptic setting, animals are being loaded onto a spaceship that says Ark of Space, while armed guards are keeping humans from boarding the ship. E yeah, Elon Musk ain't nothing but a puppet. And I heard he getting brothers, uh, well, not brothers, but I was watching um, other videos on YouTube. And a lot of guys are saying that Elon Musk is getting uh, your video uh, flagged or whatever the case may be, putting up his videos. And, um, you know, Elon Musk, he mentioned that, right, he put this picture up. But I remember uh, the guy, Yuval Noah Harari, he mentioned um, about the same thing. How the elites will uh, uh, get on a ship. Or get in a, you know, I forgot exactly what he said. Uh, you have a small elite that um, pushes things in its own interests, even if it doesn't benefit the vast majority of the population. This has happened so many times previously in history, and it's probably going to happen again. Um, the one of the biggest dangers to the planet today is this technological utopia because probably for the elite it will work if bad comes to worse then when the flood comes the scientists will build a Noah's Ark for the elite leaving the rest to drown the rest of the people and then the rest of the of the ecosystem but they are likely to be able to construct this technological Noah's Ark which is probably what much of the elite is, is counting on. All right, so let me continue. Elon, among many other billionaires, have talked about a coming major cataclysm that could wipe out the human species. Do they know something we don't? A lot of them keep talking about how we have two options. Either we leave Earth or we stay here and we get wiped out by this major cataclysm. There, there, there are really two fundamental paths. History is going to bifurcate along two directions. One, one, one path is we stay on Earth forever. Um, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. Um, I, I don't have an immediate doomsday prophecy, but there's, it's eventually history suggests there will be some, some doomsday event. Uh, the alternative is to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species, which uh, I hope you would agree that is the right way to go. You should be concerned about demographic implosion. So if you look at countries like Japan, most of Europe, China, and you look at the birth rates in a lot of those places is only at about half of the sustaining rate. When you have an inverted demographic pyramid, so if you like, look at the, the pyramid and you've got age creation, 60 year olds, 50 year olds, 40 year olds, 20 year olds, you know, like sort of a demographic pr pyramid. Right. Um, and in some countries it's sort of, it's like an upside down pyramid. So it'll sort of fall over. So it's, it will not, will not stand. What we'll actually have in those countries is a very high dependency ratio where the number of people who are retired is, is very high relative to the number of people who are net, net producers. And so you cannot, the, the, the social safety net will not hold. We didn't evolve for this because we sort of evolved to just always procreate and there wasn't birth control or anything. Right. We just like have lots of babies. It's like pop the course and like hopefully some of them would survive. That would be, that was like, well, be in history until very recently. And now it's, uh, you know, you've got, Cases like Japan, where adult diapers outsell baby diapers. Europe's in a similar situation. China's headed the same way because you know they've had the one-child policy, and then even though they've relieved the one-child policy, the social norm has become to have an average of one kid. So even when they relieved that requirement, it didn't change. Now, what could this major cataclysm event be? Yeah, I'm gonna bring out a scripture because you know these devils are talking about leaving the earth 
Elon Musk, he's mentioned plenty of times, all right, about uh, having a, 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 sta a station on Mars and having uh, resources going back and forth, you know, from Earth to Mars. And, um, you know, I believe, you know, the elites, because the guy Yuval Noah Harari, one of his spokesmen, one of their spokesmen, excuse me, of Kyle Slavs, who are sent out there to speak on behalf of the elite, right? He mentioned about the prophecies are true. And he said, you know, they're going to happen. So that led me to believe in that interview that they know that they know. Because we, we know they know. They know. All right? Because uh, what Elder, Elder Apostle Gabar, he, he say from time to time, in order to tell a lie, you must know the truth. And that's true, man. Esau tell these lies because they know the truth. They're the devil that the Bible speaks of. And we have, uh, the Lord have woken us up to the fact that he is the Edomites, according to the Bible. All right? You are the Edomites, according to the Bible. Right? And if they know the fall for E and the, the judgment that's coming, these devils want to get away from it. All right? And this, this talk about going to a different planet, it ain't going to happen. All right? This is Esau running from judgment. Running from the judgment from Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. He don't want to go into captivity. He don't want to get paid back for all the wrong that he have done. All right? So I want to bring this out because they know these scriptures. This is Isaiah chapter 34 and 1. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For the foundation of Yahweh is upon all nations. See? The Lord said his righteous anger is upon all you nations, man. It says, and his fury upon all their armies. Because don't these nations have great armies? This is prophecy, man. This, this is going to come to pass. It says, for the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations. And his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. And that's going to happen when the Lord... Because the scriptures say his his uh, determination is to gather the nations, you know, to pour upon them his indignation, roughly paraphrasing the scripture, okay? The Lord's determination is to gather these devils into one circle so he can fight and destroy them, wipe their asses out, man, all right? Because there's a new power coming. Well, let me say this, it's, it's, a, it's not new, but it's a new rulership. That's, that's going to rule and that's through Yahawashai and the Israelites, all right? Because Yahawashai is that, is that, um, is, is our savior, the one, all right, that was written and, excuse me, Yahawashai is our savior, the one that was taken up, all right? As the scriptures tell us in Acts, how the men was with him, he was taken up and he said, the angel said on the side, he shall come back in like manner, roughly paraphrasing. So this is the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He's about to make his return and you devils know that, man. So let me continue. It says, for the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. It says, their, stink, their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountain shall be melted with their blood. It says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heaven shall be rolled together like a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a fallen fig from the fig tree. All right? So this is that, that um, you should picture in your mind, this is when the nuclear missiles, all right, when it, that mushroom cloud after it hits. Let me read it again. It says, and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved and the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. All right. And all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falling from off the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree. All right. So the Lord is going to have it where the, the ICBMs, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, these missiles that these country has, they're going to be shot off and destroyed. This place called Babylon the Great. All right. It says, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. And this is what Esau is running from. 
Because what is Idumia? Idumia is Greek for Edom. All right, you are the Edomites that the Bible speaks of. This is why they get into their panties when we call ourselves Hebrew Israelites because they know, they now know we know the truth. They know that we know the truth now and it's spreading like wildfire, man. All right, uh, Elder Prophet Zahar said in one of his lessons I, I watched this week, uh, how I think he said he think it's like about 90%, you know, of, um, uh, of 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 Israel of of Jake knowing the Israelites here in Babylon, man. I believe he just said here in Babylon, like about ninety percent, you know. And the Lord, you know, gave that increase quick when he, you know, used those uh, puppets or those pawns. All right, Kanye and Kyrie, even though they don't believe in the truth, but they mentioned about or referred to the masses of the world, you know, that we're the Israelites. And that right there, besides the first off, the men of the Lord teaching his word, because that's where the credit goes to, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and to his prophets, because that's where you're going to get the truth. That's Jeremiah 3 and 15. He said, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. That's where you're going to get the truth, but only the elect is going to get there. The rest is going to, you know, two thirds of the Lord's people are going to be destroyed, as the scripture said. So anyway, it says, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven, Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people for my upon the people of, of my curse to judgment. The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with the fatness and with the blood of the lambs and goats and with the fat of the kidneys of the rams. For Yahweh have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. All right. So the land of Idumia today is America because this is where you dwell, all right? And everything else that you have established of because the scriptures say um, how Esau will be blessed to have the fatness of the earth. So you have Esau ruling the world, all right? He, he you know, Russia is Edom. You have Europe, all right? You have all these Edomite countries over there that's established Edomites in the eastern part of the world and then you have the west which is North America which is established by E which is stolen land okay but he runs this place so the Lord is going to wipe out Babylon the Greek as the scriptures say man so there's a great judgment coming for these devils and these devils are trying to escape man but you ain't going to escape be in the same week I've seen Endless articles, one about the super volcano Yellowstone that has a lot more magma than once thought underneath the surface and they say could explode at any time because they seen a crack there on the ground and they expect it to blow soon and the same week we're hearing about a comet about to wipe out earth total blackout because of solar flares and if that wasn't doomsday enough enjoy it while you can people dropping oxygen will one day suffocate most life on earth just saw this people well ain't that some shit now i'm thinking those dyson's air purifying headphones actually are meant for something else they're gonna somehow wipe out the oxygen on earth and then sell you the headphone Yo. oxygen tank and this is what it's gonna look like this ain't an air purifier folks this is to give you oxygen when we run out all that is missing here is a virtual reality headset over your eyes and that's it folks all your senses are gone can you believe this shit Esau wants you to walk around because he wants you to live in virtual reality. That's what that uh, metaverse is about. You know, Zuckerberg, he turned Facebook into metaverse. You know, you even had this fool, Brother Chappelle. <laughs> Brother Chappelle showed me this. Uh, it wasn't him. I forgot. I forgot. It's been a minute. But basically, you had this guy in a video. Yeah, I think the brother did send me. Uh, but you had a guy in a video for 20, you know, for he's basically living on in the metaverse, man. In his bed, sleep, wake up into the metaverse. Soon as he opened his eyes, he has his, uh, you know, shit on. You know, <laughs> it's amazing. You know, Esau wants us to live in virtual reality, and that's why, you know, I advise brothers if you haven't seen it, go watch. Uh, uh, what is it called? Black. What is it? Black Mirror. Shit. Oh man, it's like it, man. Ah. Uh. uh shit black mirror i think it's called black mirror i can't believe i'm i can't even think of it. i just put up a video clip on it but it, it won't let you post on youtube so i had to put it on odyssey 
But uh, watch the episode of 15 Marriage. You know, which is the same as the, the 15 minute cities. You know, because E wants you to have um, a confined area, a city where you don't, you don't, you get everything from. You don't leave the city. You know, you you get your food, you get everything. They don't want you in the field of things, man. And and I can see that if Esau have his way, he'll block off. It'll be a crime. It'll be against the law to go into certain areas in the earth, man. I can see that shit, man. It'll be a fucking crime, a, a law. To where if you found somewhere outside of your city, you know, where you from, you could be locked the fuck up, man. That's, that's how they, they these devils want you to live, all right? They want to monitor you 24-7. They want to actually be inside your thoughts, you know? That's why they throwing this social credit thing on you, man. But this shit crazy, man. But all oh, brothers ain't seen that, go watch it, man. Because that show with the dude that played in um the new movie that came out this year wasn't all that. But it was uh, Look Up. No, was it Look Up? I think with the chariot. You know, it messed up the ending of the movie. <clears throat> but, um, you know, it wasn't all that. But um, that guy, the dude, he played in that, that movie. <clears throat> he wake up and I can't even play it. You know, you got to go to the Odyssey or just type in uh, 15 Marriage Black Mirror. Yeah, Black Mirror. That's what it's called. But um, he wake up out of his bed. He's living in a, a room full of screens, you know, and there's some fucking virtual reality shit then when he go work he got to go and get on the bike yo that shit crazy man this is this is reality of what he is uh fancing you know for your future you know jake need to wake the fuck up man this is why we need yahweh shot bro this is why we need yahweh shot to deliver us from this 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 madness man this devil man this shit is crazy are gone you'll be in the metaverse permanently and you'll want to stay there because of how miserable life will be if they get their 2030 agenda complete what could this major event be either way whatever it is they're planning it always leads us closer to this 2030 new world order agenda the picture elon musk posted in a way embodies the 2030 agenda an agenda they say is about the environment and saving the animals by getting rid of what they deem to be the virus. Humans, when they said slow the spread, they meant slow the spread of humans. Don't fall for the good guy, bad guy nonsense because they're all in on the same plan. Let's play a game, Klaus Schwab or... All right, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and 33. Thus saith Yahweh, Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together and all that took them captives held them fast they refused to let them go and that's Esau because he captured us he slaved us man the Lord gave him the power to overtake us brought us from one continent to another all right and now we still in that same slavery and that same bondage the scriptures say Jeremiah 50 and 33 thus saith Yahweh lord of hosts which means lord of armies the children of israel and the children of judah which is the north the uh, northern kingdom and the southern kingdom right were oppressed together we're oppressed together here all right it says and all that took them captives held them fast they refused to let them go and esau refused to let us go he refused to give you know reparations which we don't want it anyway we rather have the uh, salvation of our Lord, Yahawashai, okay? But he refused to let you go. Now he wants to bring you into a more bondage of slavery, man. A more debt, okay? Worse than you ever thought, man. You know? At least when you was getting your back whipped, you know, you had a, a chance to breathe, you know? You had a chance to go and lay down. You know, this shit that they doing now, he wants to get inside your body. You know, he wants to monitor you 24 seven. So it's really, it's no way out, you know? And he's not even gonna monitor you. He's gonna have the algorithm. He's gonna have the AI, the fish, artificial intelligence to monitor you. That's what he wants the system to be based off of where computers do all his his handiwork, his, uh, his heavy lifting, you know? So they refuse to let you go, man. Or Elon Musk. Let's hear their statements right here. And you guys can tell me if you can even tell a difference at all. Nobody will be safe 
if not everybody is vaccinated. That's scary. Are you vaccinated? Waving his his day. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm very very pro-vaccination. I believe uh, the science is unequivocal. Can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains, and um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants. Just think of senses planted into our brains. Basically Hmm. implanted in... Uh, I'm gonna leave a link for brothers to watch this video because I know brothers probably just want to watch it through But yo, you hear what he said? You heard what he said, man. Let me see if I can go that back. That was Kyle Schlobs, man Okay, yeah You should know who that is, man, you know Damn, see I can't rewind back on these different sites like that but Let's see here, man enough enjoy it while you can people dropping oxygen will one day suffocate most life on earth just saw this people well ain't that some shit now i'm thinking those dyson's air purifying headphones actually are meant for something else they're gonna somehow wipe out the oxygen on earth and then sell you the headphone oxygen tank and this is what it's gonna look like this ain't an air purifier folks this is to give you oxygen when we run out all that is missing here is a virtual reality headset over your eyes and that's it folks all your senses are gone you'll be in the metaverse permanently and you'll You'll want to stay there because of how miserable life will be if they get their 2030 agenda complete. What could this major event be? Either way, whatever it is they're planning, it always leads us closer to this 2030 New World Order agenda. The picture Elon Musk posted in a way embodies the 2030 agenda, an agenda they say is about the environment and saving the animals by getting rid of what they deem to be the virus. Humans. When they said slow the spread, they meant slow the spread of humans. Don't fall for the good guy, bad guy nonsense because they're all in on the same plan. Let's play a game. Klaus Schwab or Elon Musk. Let's hear their statements right here. And you guys can tell me if you can even tell a difference at all. Nobody will be safe. If not everybody is vaccinated. That's scary. Are you vaccinated? Waving his his day. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm very very pro-vaccination. I believe uh, the science is unequivocal. Can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains, and um, I can immediately feel because... You heard what he said. 10 years from now, can you imagine sitting here 10 years from now having an implant in our brains? And he said, and I can feel... Cause he wants to be connected. I'm telling you, this is just like Black Mirror, when the chick um, had the problem at the airport. That 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 uh that that uh series of uh, Black Mirror, where uh, she was walking past people, and you had to rate people. So you had to always put this fake smile on, being a a happy go lucky spirit, you know, uh, uh, you know, and uh, be pleasing to everyone because they will rate you down or they will rate you up. And if you were rated down then you will lose out on all of the things that you want to have and she was living uh decent she wanted to live more rich but she wasn't able to do the things to get herself up there to get more points so you had to have like a skill to get more points to live better you know that the time is money uh the the the, uh, movie that come to mind is just intimidate uh 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 uh, in time you know when time is money when they were you know All this stuff relates, man, because this was E's plan from the door, man. Brain implants, man. Damn, I wish I could rewind this shit back a little seconds, man, to let you hear what this devil say, but I ain't want to get, you know, I ain't want to pass by and do what I just did before. But listen, man. (laughs) Because you all will have implants. Just think of senses. Damn. Planted into our brains. Basically, hmm. it implanted in your skull. So, uh, <laughs> but it would be so, uh, flush with your skull. So you basically uh, take out a chunk of skull, replace, put, put the neural device in there. Um, you you put the the electrode. You insert the electrode threads very carefully into the the brain. It doesn't change what you are doing. It changes you if you take a genetic editing. It's a fusion of the physical, the digital, and the biological world. That's really the essence of the fourth industrial revolution. A merger with 
biological intelligence and machine intelligence. An effort for man to merge with machine in yes. a healthy way. Yes. To beat machines, you basically have to merge with machines. Most likely, yes. As work is changing, is a universal basic income um, mm. really a, a, a solution to, the, to this problem? I, I think ultimately we will have to have some kind of universal basic income. And I think some kind of a universal basic income is going to be necessary. Decarbonization of the economy. Where are they traveling? Ah. How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So, individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm. Stay tuned, we don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. I mean, my top recommendation, honestly, would be just to have a carbon tax. This global reset is necessary. Well, there you have it, folks, saying the same thing all of the WEF agents say. How coincidental. Predictive programming through movies gives you an idea of what mindset the DICs have and how they perceive people. Agent Smith in the movie The Matrix said this. Now you can listen to this and really understand how they feel about you. Carbon taxes, CBDCs, universal basic incomes, lockdowns, they're gonna keep you locked down in a place. They don't want you outside, but of course this is not for them. They see you as the virus. All of these rules, this track and trace technology, total digital control system is only for you. They want to keep their lifestyle the way it is. And they can't do that if there's more and more people consuming more and more energy and also the GDP grows and the standard of living is growing as well, which means most of us will be able to live lifestyles that are pretty luxurious. And that's a big no-no to the people in charge because they think there's a finite resource problem and they want it for themselves but listen to agent smith here on the matrix basically reading a script from klaus schwab right here i'd like to share a revelation that i've had during my time here it came to me when i tried to classify your species i realized that you're not actually mammals every mammal on this planet instinctively develops a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment, but you humans do not. You move to an area and you multiply and multiply until every natural resource is consumed. And the only way you can survive is to spread to another area. There is another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern. Do you know what it is? A virus. The human beings are a disease, a cancer of this planet. You are a plague, and we are the cure. In case you wanted a glimpse into the mind of the average elite, them at the Davos group, you know, these WEF people talking about how they're the elite. That's really how they feel about people. You know that because of the system they're trying to implement to enslave people and keep them tracked and traced and total control over their lives and what they can buy, what they consume, how much energy they consume. Not for them, but for you. In Bill Gates' book, How to Avoid a Climate Disaster, he goes over in detail what he says must be done in order to save the human species from extinction and also save the planet. There are multiple graphs here showing human population growth and energy consumption, stating something needs to be done to reverse this. Many of these elites push this idea of energy being limited, as you can see with these graphs showing population growth. And ever since the 1950s, there's been an exponential growth of energy consumption. Now understand many of these wealthy Luciferian elites don't want to give up their luxurious life lifestyles that consists of expensive combustion vehicles, private jets, and yachts. So the idea of rationing energy or degrading their wealthy lifestyle is out of the question for them. So they are plotting on ways to cut this energy consumption down. Now understand the ones at the top know this is fraudulent science. The idea of limited energy on earth and scarcity. The same scumbags are hiding free energy tech from the people. But this fabricated concept of limited energy is used to control the population. If you control the food, you control the nation. If you control the energy, you control a region. If you control the money, well, you control the world, says Lizard 
Richard Henry Kissinger. But this limited energy, sustainable nonsense is what the elites teach their little leftist minions around the world to make them go along with this 2030 agenda. Every time you see a protest for climate, just know you're watching people protest to be enslaved and turned into serfs. This is why they're screaming net zero. We need to get to net zero carbon emissions or the world ends in 12 years. Now the graph here showing energy consumption shows how we've been creating new forms of energy, but the new forms of energy aren't replacing the old ones. So we're still using the same amount of oil and gas, if not more, while also using more and more forms of new energy like nuclear and green. Now in Bill Gates book, How to Avoid a Climate Disaster, he doesn't say we're going to replace all the old energy with a new one. He just says we're going to reduce the energy consumption. Important note there, guys. Many of these soulless elites are in on this agenda. Here's Boris Johnson's father talking about how we need to reduce the amount of people on earth and as a corollary to that you have to get population under control as well because if you look at it in sheer economic terms how can you sustain increases in per capita income at a time when you have rising population without rising economic growth whereas if you have a declining um, population which is what I would aim for then of course even a stable economic growth situation will give you increases in per capita income so that's where I stand on do, that. Do you, do you have a sense of what the carrying capacity of Britain is or of the uh, uh, of the world as a whole? Or? Well, Britain, I put it at 10 or 15 million. Um, I, mean, <laughs> I think that'd be absolutely fine. I mean, that would do us really splendidly. At, at, at a limit, 2025, mm. I think it's complete nonsense that we are now confronted with an island, uh, would you believe it, of 70 million, 70 million people. I wrote a paper, I think. So, well, like you said, because of the resources, you know, they want to still be able to live their life. So they got to downsize. But hey, the Lord is going to downsize. He's going to destroy you devils and put you right where you need to be. You know, it's a very long video, very interesting video. And he hit a lot of good points, but I got to close because it's been too long. All right. For my memory, as far as the phone memory, excuse me. All right. So um, <clears throat> uh, I wanted to bring the scripture out and close. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and 45. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord had made ruler over his household? To give them meat in due season. Blessed is blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Because our Lord is coming. It says, Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over his over all his goods. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So the importance is we got to hold on. All right. And to the, hold on to this truth all the way to the end, man. You know, because uh, Esau is going to come with more deception. It's going to get hard. OK, because of the way of living. And Esau is going to try to break you, you know. But our faith is strong in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Which Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is going to increase our faith, you know. Matter of fact, the scriptures say in Revelations 3 and 10, because what's coming is the fulfillment of the MOTB. The MOTB, man. All right. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 3 and 10. Because thou has kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So you're going to be tried. Wherever you live at in this earth, you're going to be tried, man. You living in a system, you living in these cities where Esau's established. Look, you're going to be tried. But the Lord, our Lord said, Yahawashai, he said, because thou has kept the word of my patience, meaning we kept this, this his sayings. We rehearsed his law, statutes, and commandments each and every day. You know, we, we kept him to the best of our ability. We, we we did his work. You know, he told his brothers to go out and teach the word. Feed my sheep. We, we doing that, you know, until the day the Lord shut up the prophets. You know, we praying unto the Lord. Pray without ceasing. We're staying humble, you know, and we're being patient, which the word patience means to suffer. He says, because thou has kept the word of my patience... All right, which is the suffering. 
All right, it says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So we ain't got shit to worry about. All right, it says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thou crown. And that crown represents that salvation. Because physically, Yahweh Shai will put crowns upon the men, the elect men of Yasha Allah. You know, putting a crown on each one of the brothers' heads that he delivered. All right, that he saved. It says, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, and I will write upon him my new name. It says, and he that have an ear, let him hear what the spirits say unto the churches, man. All right. Uh, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect, Shalom, and Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. All right, Lord willing, Shalom.